everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome back. This is XCOM 2, and uh, I, I, I've said this quite a few times, but I said a lot of people are going to forget to put a soldier in the Guerrilla Tactics School at all times. And lo and behold, I've forgotten to do that. So, uh, let's put Oprah in, actually. And uh, I know we're a little short on sharpshooters, so I'm going to go with this, and I'm going to build her out as a, uh, as a gunslinger. Assuming that we make it that far, so let's uh, Let's head out to the black site. There may be a couple things in here that I have to uh, Cut out like any big story cutscenes and stuff like that, but uh, That's not gonna be too much actually, so that'll be fine. This is gonna be Operation Night Stank and uh, supplies great, but It's gonna be really hard. There's a pretty significant uh, increase in difficulty with these uh, black sites. And as you can see, difficulty difficult. So we're gonna take out uh, Triss, Natska, Lavelle, and Olivier. Um, I think we have a spare gun part. Yes, we do. So we're gonna throw on advanced hair trigger because we might as well use it. 10% chance that the shot will not cost an action for the active turn. So I'm happy about that. Uh, the combat sim is for our potential psionic, so that would be cool. And, uh, yeah, outside of that, I think we are good to go. Wish me luck. Not that we're gonna need it, of course. Just kidding, we're really gonna need it. Sky Ranger deployed. Squad green to deploy. Alright, let's drop. Contacts in the local resistance have shown us how to access the Advent Black site. The aliens worked hard to keep this place under the radar, and we don't know what we're gonna find in there. Keep your heads up. Expect heavy opposition. Okay, Operation Night Stank launching in three, two, one. 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 Never mind. I don't know when Operation Night Stank is launching, but uh, there we go. Pretty much nailed the countdown. We've confirmed the black site is in your immediate vicinity. Infiltrate and investigate okay. the area. Okay. Interesting. Expect heavy resistance. Neutralize all hostile contacts. Very interesting. So we got to get in there, and then we have to evac on that elevated zone behind. Positions concealed. And that is a significant distance. Um, I'm really digging the blast padding. Uh, I'm loving the, the armor point. Like, that's significant damage reduction. And if he eventually gets into, like, uh, an exosuit or anything else, then it only benefits. Now... One thing we got to be very conscious of here is turrets being on these buildings. And more than likely, that's going to happen. So I got to just... Let's just take things slow here. Okay. So Probably we're... lead the way with Olivier. Okay, we're good so far. Let's we're just... Uh, single okay. file, guys. Single file. There is no uh, countdown timer, so on Overwatch. I'm going to uh, take the time necessary. I'm on it. Oops. Okay. Olivier, we can move you up to the car now. Zavos. Keep your head down, please. Uh, good. This is good. Moving to designated position. Position confirmed. Moving to position. This is both good and bad. It's good because we haven't been caught yet. It's bad because if we do get caught, there might be a whole bunch of them. Bien reçu. En route vers la cible. Okay, still clear. This is interesting. A little train. How far are we? Uh, we're still significant distance. But the nice thing is, is we might be able to utilize some of this for some high ground advantage. Rolling. 
This is, of course, assuming that we don't run into turrets. And turrets are what's freaking me out right now, because we've gone ahead and made the game more difficult for us to offset the faster uh, building times. So, yeah, turrets are pretty gnarly right now. Okay, this is not a bad position to be in, actually. Oh, God. Hold on. That sounds like more right in the vicinity. Whoops. So, let's... Let's see, how are we going to handle this? Really hoping? Well, they're... Oh, look. Could that be? Or do we just happen to be... Oh, yeah. No, look. There's a turret here. Absolutely, there is a turret there. Okay. Because look how these, like, angle off at the furthest distance. They always angle off. This one's just stuck. Okay. So, is that turret going to have vision if I go here? That's the real question. Certainly plausible. So let's just move Olivier in. Confirm. And the goal here. Understood. Moving out. Is to kill both of these. <laughs> That's the goal. Now, there's a pretty good chance that they'll just turn around, and not even worry about us. Yeah, frick. Oh, come on now. This happens so frequently that it's not always a super reliable uh, approach. And I'm just worried. Oops. Sorry about that. I just alt tabbed. I I'm just worried that um, I'm just really worried about this turret. Like that's this is the problem right now. Is this friggin' turret? Because uh, I'm worried that it's gonna scout me if I'm out here. I'm on the move. I I would love to be wrong, and I hope that there Head is no the turret. And I also hope that we don't have another group come and join these guys who are now leaving us. Okay, that is really annoying. They'll come back, for sure, but does that matter? Heading to that location. Okay, well, maybe there isn't a turret up there. I thought for sure, but I guess maybe not. Closing on target position uh -oh. now. What's that doing to me? Hostile forces spotted. Oh no, more of them. I know there's gonna be more, but I just don't want them so close together. That's the real issue here. Okay, here we go. It's happening. Here we go. Oh, they're not going to see Triss. Uh-oh. I hear to the right. Oh, my God. I'm going right here. And this is gonna, this has gotta work. Here it, ha here it comes. Here it comes. Come on, guys. It's right there for us. At first, Advent deployed non-lethal stun units for crowd control. Nice shot. We don't see a whole lot of that anymore. Not a great shot. Dodged, okay, great. Another dodge, great. These friggin' things, I swear. Ça lui a pas fait grand chose. 
All right, that's a problem. Okay. The issue is... I don't really want to trigger another group. And so I don't really want to go inside there. Um... I'm thinking we could use the combat protocol if we want. We're in full cover. It's two damage. It's guaranteed. We don't have to leave where we are. And I kind of feel with like... I don't know what it's called, but it's... You know how in certain games you collect a whole bunch of like potions or something? You never use them because you're like, what if I need more potions? It's kind of like that. I feel like a lot of the skills... Me personally, I'll tend to hold on to for too long and be like, oh, I should save it in case something else happens. And then I end up in a really difficult scenario. Uh, well, I mean, we gotta, we gotta move somehow. I would really prefer that we're in full cover. I like this. I like this. But it's half, and then we got three shots from those guys. I mean, Olivier does have armor, but we don't have a good spot to move up, really, and he's already in full cover. Triss, I can maybe pull over here, but I was trying to avoid that in the first place. I could move up, rocket back there, but this stun lancer is what worries me the most because these guys can knock you unconscious, and if that happens, uh, you gotta carry them the whole way or leave them behind. I'm not really all about that. Here, let's let's do this. We really need to blow up that middle section. We're half cover, but I've got another specialist who could aid protocol us. Oh no, I used that. That's right. This is not... He's not flanked? Do I really got to move over? Okay, let's move Triss. Heading there now. Come on, Trissy, let's go. There you go. Nice shot. Target neutralized. And I don't think I can reach oh I can reach him. You know what? I'm gonna Yeah, I think I am gonna try and do some damage to him. Or maybe I should just overwatch. Maybe I should just shoot at him. 55's not terrible. But I kind of want to... I want to force him to move. We got one person in half cover. I mean, there's a pretty good chance that we're not getting out of here unscathed, so... He may run up to the full cover. Yep, here he comes. At least that way he can't mark us and get a shot. Yeah, these guys are going to get some additional benefits, but... Could be worse. And these guys are real far back. Oh god. Oh! Oh! Thank you. Incoming over here! Okay, so now we do have to contest with this overwatch Again, we could use combat protocol We could also just figure out if we even need to worry about it Because I'm kind of thinking let's do the same thing but maybe we should use this one. The only thing I wanted to provide aid protocol over here, but I could aid protocol ourselves, so that's not too big of an issue. Let's use the grenade. Deals three damage. 
Hopefully this cover gets blown. Strong grenade. There it goes. Fifty-four, thirty-four. Let's check Triss. Fifty and twenty-nine. So I think if Triss can get this, great. And then we've got a higher percentage shot. Nice. We have a higher percentage shot on the guy in the back with Olivier, and I think I'll take it because we're in full cover. Let's just go for it. And he loses the mark, so that's good too. 50-50. Let's see what happens. Roll the dice. And that's... I'm just like... <laughs> I'm literally looking at my ceiling and like... Thank you. Thank you. So we're definitely going to aid protocol. And then we're going to hunker down. And that should give us a significant uh, boost. Because the nice thing is it doesn't just increase the defense, right? It's the dodge that's really significant. More than likely, this guy, if he shoots, is going to shoot at somebody else. But he's moving up into half cover. That's ballsy. Now I think we just go for it. 61. We just need to hit. Get rid of the overwatch. Beautiful. Okay, my squad's on point today. This is good. This is good. We're just going to get everybody reloaded. Now the trick... The trick is going to be... How do we get another group to walk into us? Because <laughs> we got to try to maintain... Uh -oh. Okay, this is cool. It's just, hey, here's a sweet building. And Lavellin, let's Hold bring on. you in. Bodies. The, the containers, the trains. We may even want to work around the side here. Just kind of control our approach a little bit. From the looks of it, they may never have stopped after the invasion. Those containers look like they have self-contained power cells. It could be some kind of stasis system. It's possible at least some of those people might still be alive. Okay, let's see, let's do this. Let's go around this train. Roger that. Nice. Okay. Ordre bien reçu. J'y vais. Running. Move it on target location. Everybody, get ready. Whoa, what do we got here? Oh, hello. No. Oh, come on. That's kind of what we wanted, but oh, oh, I thought there were four. Watch the flags. That's a good shot. Oh, those are huge. That's so huge. That's really that's amazing. <laughs> The stud lancers are the worst, man. Uh, uh, yeah, this is this is not actually too bad. I kind of want to get in here, but this the I don't know. I think the sectoids are a little predictable in the sense that they always try to use their psionics before much else, and I try to exploit that whenever I can. Um, and I may have to try and do so now. Because I'm hoping that if we just get into a position where we kind of surround him, then we just have to flank him a couple times and kill him and not worry about his, his zombie. So I'm going to send Lavellin in. We'll send Triss here. I could try and go in. I'm just a bit concerned we find trouble up here or another group
Yeah, I'm gonna go here. This isn't it, perfect, but it's not bad. Yeah, he's doing it. Now, the question is, where did he move to? Because we've lost him a bit here. Love how it looks like these pigeons are... on the ground, like, giant size. Okay, Lavellan. That's affirmative. Oh, that is actually exceptional. Okay, that's not as much damage as I hoped. Negative, weapons dry. Uh, I guess we just want to get out here. I just don't want to really trigger anything. Je me dirige vers les coordonnées. There we go. So, things are progressing okay ish. Sometimes I notice some of the, uh, some of the sectoid, like, powers have this strange, like, graphical glitch, that little square that we saw. I'm assuming that'll get fixed up by launch, but it always kind of catches me off guard. Moving to Overwatch. Can we, uh, yeah, let's just reload, I guess. It's killing time. Affirmative. Covering now. I hear movement. We're, we're making serious progress towards our target. Heading there now. Let's try and just keep doing what we're doing. On the move. Head into that location. I'm on it. Got it covered. Come get some. I'm gonna reload Terrence. It's not super necessary, I guess, because we could always just not move next turn. I should actually probably build that habit, because it will catch me one time where... Yeah, right here. See? Damn it. That's exactly the reason. The thing is, he's not behind cover, so I can kind of make the argument that maybe I did okay. These guys are probably dead? Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, this guy's flankable. Yeah, I didn't get this guy's it. got one damage. But that's why the constant overwatching is pretty important. Uh, again, we've got combat protocol if we want it. We've got a flank here for your comfortable standing in the open. And we could do that with two soldiers, technically. So... Okay, let's... Olivier's got the armor, so I'll tell you what. He's gonna come over here. I would love to know if this is a flank, and I'm just trying to line this up. I'm pretty sure that it is. I think I can go here. Alright, let's go, Olivier. Come on, pal. Okay, there we go. I like this. Oh, these guys are doing really well. Now, I feel like our chances are really good to take this guy down. Roger that. I gotta believe. There we go. I'm actually... These are a lot of, like, half-half shots, which obviously, I mean... They can go either way, but you kind of feel like when you hit a bunch of 50s in a row, you're like, oh my god, like, that shouldn't be happening, but... But it is. 
Okay, let's reload here. Let's reload here go. as well. Just in case anybody else walks up on us. Good to go. Overwatch. Overwatch. Okay. Let's uh let's bring Olivier over. Reload rider. Actually, you know what? We're gonna learn from last time. And we're just gonna take this quick round of Overwatch. There we go. I guess we should start trying to enter here. Um, I guess we have a door. We've got a bigger door. We've got some interesting things going on in there. Very bizarre. Good copy. Moving on target. Rolling. Moving to designated coordinates. All right, Olivier. There's no rush. There's no rush. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Extremely well equipped mechanized combat unit. Okay. We'll need to look for vulnerabilities if we're going to take that thing out. Okay. Well, this is why we have Shredder. He's got a couple points of armor. I'm kind of thinking we might want to just pull back, get them to come to us. It kind of depends on where we can move Olivier though, because that's going to be the extent. And we cannot move him very far. So I'm going to have to put him here for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna pull him back to full cover. Which means I don't think we're gonna have the luxury of pulling back too far. Um, this guy does have rockets, so I gotta try and be a fair distance apart. We're not totally flankable here, like... I don't see him coming in to grab this cover. Like, he, don't get me wrong, he could, and probably after saying that, he probably will. But I also think maybe we can kill him. That's affirmative. On my way. Order's confirmed. Okay, so. 50% chance here. 50% chance. 50% chance. I mean, again, I, could our luck run out? Yes, but... Okay, ideally... Ideally, we get the kill... with either of these. So that if the mech comes around, we have an overwatch with uh, Triss, who has Shredder. So... Yeah. Let's go with Ryder. Still, we need the five damage, too. Oh my god. Kill confirmed. Okay. That's... I'm really grateful. <laughs> but... These are not results that we can expect to happen... Long term. Now, we actually... I said we shouldn't keep guys close together. These guys are the furthest back, but I am worried that we're about to take a pretty big friggin' missile to the face here. Wow. Nice job, Triss. Yeah, we're definitely taking rockets here. That sucks because... Cover my flank! He's gonna kill us. Ooh, bless my heart, hey, baby. <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. All right.
That makes that thing look not too bad, but thank god we had Shredder, because... Had we not. Okay, do I believe? How much do I believe that we can do this? We have aid protocol. Let's go. We've got armor. Put him to sleep. Oh, see? Well, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Make those 50s, miss the 88s. That's XCOM. That's super duper dandy. I'm still gonna take a shot with Sam. I'll get him next time. Then. I kind of want to be out of his line of sight here. There we go. Confirmed. Just because I'm going to have to take the half cover, so... Oh, seriously? That was... interesting. Oh, shit. This I don't like. Okay, well, at least we've got the distance. Because Olivier is not so lucky. This could all come down to the fact that I said we shouldn't group our guys together and then group two guys together and took that missile to the face. More than likely, he's not going to go for him. Oh, no. Okay. I can accept that, I suppose. We gotta get rid of the soldiers first. Usually, these sectoids are gonna prioritize picking these guys up, reanimating them. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and combat protocol this guy so I can get in closer. Just remove that overwatch. Okay. Olivier, I suppose we pull you over here, no? Come on now. There we go. There we go. We're not done yet. Hmm. Let's move Sam to this side. And then I think... I'll move Triss. I'm just not sure where. Let's see. I think I'm going to move her to the full cover over here. The truck is blocking us a little bit, which is a bit of a concern. But it gives us a better kind of approach, I think. And really engulfs them. Moving to Overwatch. I'm on it. There it is. Oh no, God. Trissy, you could do it. You could save us. Okay. All of the luck has been used up. It's official. It's official. All right, now, unfortunately, somehow I don't have vision from here and that kind of sucks a lot. And vision from here, 
That could dish out quite a bit of damage. I could then move Lavellan over and have damage from there as well. Would he be flanked, though? I think this is the only flank. Yeah. I could move him behind. He'd be in the open. But this guy's not going to have a shot on him, and I don't think he's going to come back around. But that's... Who knows, really? I kind of want to... I would kind of like to bring Olivier inside and flank this guy. That's what I would like. I could even go here and flank the guy. No, I couldn't. Don't have vision. So I'd have to go here. Uh, and I think the way I'm going to try and accomplish this is throw aid protocol on him. He also has the additional armor, so if he does get hit, I think we'll be okay. This is going to increase the defense and the dodge to hopefully get past the overwatch. And uh, then we just see what happens. God, he hit him too. Damn it. No! And he panicked. Sure. Okay, so cutscene. Had to cut that out. Come on, shoot. Okay, at least he's shooting. <laughs> oh my god. That really hurts to watch that. He's still gonna have it, which is great, but I mean, that sucks. A lot. Okay, I'm going to actually stay in cover here. Good copy. Moving on target. The shot, actually, he is flanked, so that's phenomenal. Got, the, got it, got it. Trist, you just come up here. You just do a little tappy tap. You finish it off. Everybody goes home happy. Good copy. Moving on target. Right, Triss? Everybody goes home happy? Yes! Target neutralized. That guy keeps the aid protocol. That's it, I'm out. Maybe he comes to flank us, I don't know. Doesn't matter. He's got the armor, I think we'll be okay. He's taken off. Nah, that's good and bad. That's good and bad, but we're all alive. Okay, so here's what we need to do. Reload, reload. Get in closer. On the move. Locked and loaded. Back on the watch. Okay, panic's removed, that's nice. We're going to reload. Going to move in Ryder. And we are going to get Olivier Got it covered. over to us. Scan en cours. D'où vient ce bruit? Je me dirige vers la position. Wait, wait. Who do we see? Nobody. Je passe en vigilance. Okay. Uh, we're going to stick to the full cover. And I don't even want to go up to that one just yet. Don't want to get caught out here. Overwatch. On Overwatch. Overwatch. Okay, Olivier, come around from the street. Heading out. Scanning. Moving to Overwatch. Let's get a reload in. Everybody's going to be grouped up soon. I know we got at least one guy out there. Maybe he found another group, so we have to be aware of that. 
Because that's a thing. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, we haven't seen a turret. Stay clear of those turrets. We're still not entirely sure if they're fully automated or remotely triggered. It can't see us. We must have just triggered around here. Must have a very limited spot to hit us. Okay, Triss, you go in. Confirmed. That's what we need to get. We need to get the vial. Understood. Moving out. Oh, I hate that when that happens. You know something's in there. I just hope it's just the one guy and nobody else. Jesus. Position confirmed. Position confirmed. Moving out. Got it covered. Scan on cool. Scanning. Affirmative. Covering now. Whew. Nervous. Heading to that location. We still have three grenades that we can launch, if necessary. Actually, you know what? I should use this. If nobody's up here, I should probably be up here. Okay, there is another crew, and our buddy's gonna be there for sure. Are we gonna get any overwatches? Oh no, really? Not one? Well, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Okay, Triss. Couple of good options here. Um. We could move in and hit those three. And then I could even... Uh, I don't think I could hit the, the rest. But I could move in, hit those three, which would be a great start. I think we should deal with him... Well... See, the thing is, if we deal with those guys, I kind of assume that he's always going to try and resurrect them. I just don't know that I have the follow-up for them. I kinda do, like that wall would be gone. And I could move. If these guys were out of the way, I think I could even move him in a bit further, maybe not. I don't know why he can't jump through the window. That's too bad. Yeah, I think we got it. We got to try this. Orders confirmed. On the move. Oh no. What happened? Okay. So I don't think we're going to hit all 3, are we? No. Doesn't Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, and we got the four. I'll take it. Well, well done. Okay, Natska, we're gonna put you. I can go here and have pretty good shots, I think. Position confirmed. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter who we go for because... Yeah, because if we hit one, they're gonna die anyway. Shit! God! That's so... really unfortunate. Affirmative. 
Affirmative. Moving out. Oh, you know what? Actually, in this scenario, I'm going to go for the guy in the back because I don't know that I'm going to be able to reach the two guys or the, the guys in the back with explosives. Oh my Jesus. I can't believe it. Like, things were going so right and they've just started going pretty wrong. Position confirmé. We gotta kill at least one, so that this sectoid gets off our back here. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this shot and take out two. This would have been a different story if we could have got that shot at 70 percenter in the back. That's helpful too, because now we have an extra turn where I think he'll most likely go for the, uh, go for his friend there. Do we have any more? No, we don't have any more combat protocol. We do have a frag if we want to blow that cover, which I kind of do, but I can't really. It appears like he's not going to be able to get an overwatch shot on us from this position. That's what it appears. Um. Yeah, we are... This is so sensitive right now. I'm actually not sure of the best approach. I think we should be okay to come around this side. To oh, but position. you know what? I don't know if this is where we want to be. Well, if he if he does mind control again, then we blow the wall and we try and kill him. Right? That's the game plan, I think. Just gonna move back into full cover. Let's reload an Overwatch here. I'm ready. I'm on it. Covering now. This guy could very well just sit back there in Overwatch. If that's the game he wants to play, he can play it. We need to ensure is that this wall goes. Is that the best I can do? It feels a bit odd. Okay, there we go. I mean, that's as clear shots as we're gonna get. Oh, nice! That's so good. Okay, I'm gonna send aid protocol up here to Sam. Rely on his one overwatch shot. We just gotta somehow be more stubborn than this guy. Overwatch. 
He's being a little dick about it. I mean, we could we could increase the chances of us getting to him, but like I can't get into a position where I can even flank the guy. So does that really make sense for me to go? Like I can put aid protocol on. I could probably even stack aid protocol if I really wanted to. I don't actually have never tried that. But I don't know if this is the time for experimenting either. Like he he's really pinned down. There's four of us and one of him. Let's see if he does anything crazy. I'd love to get that stuff, but th that might not happen. It's not going to happen right now. Um, let's try one more. I'm just now I'm kind of curious as to how stubborn they get. Yeah, he seems like he's not moving. Why would he? Okay, so here, oops. Here's what I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna kind of get out of his vision here, and I'm gonna try to... What options do I have up top? Maybe that's, maybe that's my best option. But even if I get up here... Okay, so we had the... We have a, a turret over this side, right? So that turret probably has sight to about this edge. Over here I should be fine, but that's gonna give him vision of me. Uh, but it'll give me a significant height advantage, and I think I can crawl up there without getting shot at, actually. So I just kind of have to path this one out. Let's see here. Are any of these going to hit me? I think along this wall, we should be fine. Do I really have to run all the way out, hey? I'm okay with it. Uh, let's stick tight to the wall, actually, based on that, where that turret is. This is the longest standoff I think I've ever had with an enemy. Ever. In anything. <laughs> Okay, so I think I could probably just get up here. He'd, I'd have vision of him. I don't see anywhere up here, actually. I don't like moving up there if I don't have to. Take it one step at a time. He's going. I can't believe he's going. He knows it. He knows. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. Enemy destroyed. Let's make sure everybody has bullets. Rock and roll. Rolling. Because not only do we have to grab this file, we need to get out of here still. Okay, so... Look how far away that is. Now that I'm up here... I 
I think what I'm going to do is try and position as many of our soldiers uh, in the back end of this place as possible. Moving and we're going to grab it with position. one person and motor. <laughs> and we'll probably use aid protocol to help feeling a bit more confident. I just need to make sure that we have everybody within one dash of the, uh... Orders confirmed. Moving out. Of the excavation area. Evacuation area. We're not excavating anything. <laughs> Okay, Triss, I'm gonna have you stay behind. You're gonna be... You've got the most health, and yes, I know he does armor reduction, but you still, okay. as of right now, I think, take equal the amount of shots. Overwatch, get some. Moving to Okay. I can tell you right now, on our stats screen, I can tell you exactly what's going to be red. Okay, how come... Okay, I can get in here. That's good. Sam? Okay, Sam, you're fine. Olivier? You're good. And Triss... You're super close. You're one square, which is what we need. So... Affirmative. Moving out. Let's grab this on the next turn here, so you can move. I'm gonna have to skip this part, pretty sure. Looks like they called in some friends. There it is. Okay, so. Here's what we're gonna do. Moving to designated coordinates. It's not like they're gonna drop on Overwatch. On my way. So we might as well see if we can't kill any. Good shot right there. That's a great shot. Hey, I mean, that helps. Maybe some promotions our way. Mind you, I think we have a few actually outstanding based on this mission. Nice thing is, I don't think anybody's going to be like critically wounded where they're out for like ever. I don't think. All right, so, Sam, on to the evac. Now. Terrence, to the evac. Triss, to the evac. Go, go, go. And Ryder, the to the evac. Okay, we're getting the hell out of here. Getting out of here. Avenger, this is Firebrand. <laughs> Oh, go. I'm so tempted, but I'm gone. Let's go. Whoo, that took a long time, but uh All yeah. Are that Fly worked out. I'm happy. Mission we had some luck, we lost some luck. We just 44 friggin' turns. turns, 23 this out of 25 enemies. I guess that turret. Was ever intended to see. That's uh yeah. See how crazy that scales once you go into these? thing is, is like you don't have to do them right away so maybe we're a little bit um you know ahead of the curve here olivier great job on like pretty much everything um yeah that's okay i'm i'm just really happy 
with how that worked out. I think that's actually, that's a much better representation of, of the legend uh, difficulty because, oh, gravely wounded, damn it. Because, um, like, that was, there were some hairy situations there. Luckily, we didn't set off, like, too many crazy pods at once, and that's always, like, really important. But uh, there's a significant difference between those gorilla ops that we've been doing and that. Okay, so, uh, I did say that in this... Uh, playthrough that we were just gonna build strict archetypes. So we got Shredder, which means we're gonna grab uh, Suppression next with Triss. Aims at 71, that's not bad. Uh, Natska, we're gonna go Haywire Protocol. Aim at 74, hacking at 60, it's not bad. Uh, Lavellin, uh, we're gonna grab Medical Protocol, which I would have loved to have had there. 71, 55, hacking. And uh, Olivier, we're gonna go Demolition, and uh, your aim is 71 as well. Okay. Now that we've recovered the apparent product of the Black Site facility, I imagine it will take considerable time and resources to uncover the true purpose of this substance. I will begin preparations for a complete analysis immediately, Commander. Thank you, Tygen. You're the best. Okay, so now we've got alien encryption research, which means when we find their workings of the black site for alien data we can now get now intel from it even more troubling than i had expected it is clear the aliens have undertaken a gruesome task i will leave this matter for you to investigate commander now this is huge because on the uh, overall like operations screen um we've reduced the avatar progress by two so taking out these black sites is absolutely essential. The aliens are relaying a form of encryption beyond anything we've ever encountered, much less theorized. We'll have to find a means of breaking the code, but I expect it will take some time. Uh, so yeah, that's, he kind of just said what I was saying. Most of our new recruits have never worked in close quarters like the Avenger. Before the war- So let's take a look. Avatar Project. This is what gets the aliens to win. You continue to prove resourceful, Commander. Boom. Although you have dealt it's a like blow a big kick to the, the alien nuts by destroying the black site, there is still much to be done. Yes, I'm. I'm well aware. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, so, um, some people have been asking for like a little bit more of an overview of this screen. So maybe I'll take a few minutes now because this video is not long enough, and do so. Um, Let's just start at the top. So we've got our objectives over here. These are like your main kind of objectives to really progress the story, I guess. And uh, think of it like in XCOM where you had to build the, um, what is that thing called? The uh, the thing where you capture the aliens. I can't think of the thing off the name off the top of my head. Uh, but the thing, so you, arc pistol, right? Yeah. Uh, arc thrower, that's what it is. So when you'd build that it would like progress the story a bit um, This is kind of what happens there, right? Uh, Avatar project I've explained but if this gets full um, Something bad happens you have a certain amount of time to fix that something bad and if you don't it's game over uh, dark events. This is what the alien is work or the aliens are working on. So right here, they're preparing to find a mole within the resistance, re uh, reducing the retaliation counter by two weeks. The retaliation is is coming in two weeks. So if this happens, it's going to happen pretty much instantly. The retaliation. The way we stop this is by going on guerrilla ops missions. When those become available, those become available more often once we make contact with more and more countries. Okay. Uh, when a new alien facility is constructed, it adds to the avatar progress, so you kind of want to stop that. Up here we've got the uh, contacts, two out of three. This is, uh, think about it like your satellite uplink capacity. 
uh, of the past games. So right now we have two out of our three contacts that we can possibly make. We have two engineers, we have three scientists, we have 130 alloys, we have seven Illyrium, 54 Intel. Intel again is what we use to A, make contact and B, spend at the black market. Uh, supplies 130 and we're making 120 per month, okay? Uh, you can see here that we've got some continent bonuses and these switch every time they're completely random uh, So this one if we get it all recruits cost 10 supplies. That's cheap. That's good I don't think it's the best one, but it, it's great uh, Lock and load personal combat sims and weapon upgrades may be reused. This is huge This is one of the best ones because you can just mix and match until you get the best uh, loadout that you want and this is significant because you can stack um Upgrades once you upgrade your weaponry and this is just really really uh, substantial uh, This one has plus five to Avenger power. I mean, it's like you'll take it But it's not something you're really gonna like rush for I don't think right So then we've got the black market We've got resistance HQ where we can spend time to heal faster, which honestly right now might not be a bad idea Just based on how many people are out of commission uh, we've got burning convoy. This is where we could scan for seven days. It will increase the region per increase the income from the region permanently uh, But we don't need to do that right away. This isn't gonna go away. So that's fine This is showing uh, the country that we have uh, locked down and the income that we're generating uh, from it uh, These places are where we can make contact to next you'll notice that they're all adjacent to one another um, if I want to make contact here, it's going to show me that it's going to cost 120 intel because it's 60 times the link distance to the nearest relay and the nearest relay, well, we only have one at HQ. Uh, in Europe here, same thing. I'll just show you. Avengers oh, that's not what I want. Oh, I'm becoming inefficient here. I'm losing hours. That makes a difference. Uh, this one here, 60 intel because it's a lot closer. See how we're a direct connection, whereas, whoops, whereas this is two leaps away. Um, that makes a difference. And we don't have a direct connection from West Asia to Eastern Europe. We're connecting through India and then there. Now here, this is where you can build a radio relay. And if you build this radio relay, it takes seven to 10 days, but then it's gonna decrease the cost of your Intel spending to contact the next country because it's so much closer to a radio relay. I hope that makes sense. Um, so it's kind of like your, your, your strategic management here is where do I build my relays? Like, I don't think it makes sense to really um, well, I mean, I could argue that I could build a relay here because I've got two adjacent countries that I could connect to, but that would be the, whoops, that would be the only, uh, one currently, and I guess because that's the only one that's furthest away, that makes sense, but if I only had one country to connect to, I probably wouldn't do it, but, uh, in this scenario, it might make sense. And then in the bottom right, we just have our upcoming objectives or, uh, or uh, projects, I should say, that are finishing. At the bottom, we've got uh, the different scanning sites that are available. So the black market will pretty much always be there. Um, these come up when they come up. Like right now, we have Burning Convoy. Uh, we've got some missions that we can go to, but we actually can't because this one's locked. This is another alien facility. So really, like, strategically, you want to get down there, make contact, and try to take out that, that base to stop the Avatar project. Here's our time, which is slowly ticking by. We've got Resistance HQ shortcut. Uh, in the bottom left, we just have a way to toggle the Resistance network. You can see the connections or not, doesn't matter. Um, this, These are just like notifications, like we have low scientists, right? And some of them you can click on. As we rapidly develop and deploy advanced new technologies, they'll tell you how you can acquire them. I'll let you guys read that for yourself. Low intel, yes, it tells you how to try and get some intel. So it's uh, yeah, it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty interesting. I'm not going to worry so much about increasing the region income because we don't have forever in this campaign anyway. So I'm just going to actually head back to Resistance HQ. And I'm just gonna focus on maybe healing faster, or maybe... Well, we need 60 intel anyways to make contact. Oh no, we can do it for, yeah, 60. So, let's just heal faster. We have a supply drop coming in right away as well. I am not stoked about taking this mission right now, Operation Forgotten Whale. Um, but... 
we need to do it. So, uh, we're going to have to take out a rookie. Look at this. We got people like we are in a bit of a position here. We're in a bit of a position. We're going to take out uh, Captain or, or Charles Xavier. Uh, but just based on what we've been seeing, I might want to build out some different items here. Uh, maybe now is the time to grab a med kit. Triss is our... Okay, we can customize her now because she's a veteran. That's great. Yeah, so she's got this stuff. The, um... I'm not sure where I was going with that. Oh, because I, I got her confused with, uh, specialist. But we've got one here. It's just a squatty, so we can send out aid protocol and everything, which is great. Um, let's see. I kind of want to give the extra crit chance to our ranger. So let's throw on the laser sight here. And then we could throw on... Another upgrade... Just the hair trigger, 5% chance that it's not going to cost an action. When it's only 5%, I don't even worry about who I give it to. The chance is so low that it doesn't, it doesn't even, in my opinion, it doesn't really matter. So it's too bad. We didn't get a lot of chance to rest, but it is a quote-unquote easy mission. So we're going to see significantly less groups than we did previously. And uh, we still have a lot of grenades, so that's good. But maybe, you know what? Let's actually switch out one of Triss's grenades for this flashbang. That'll give us a little bit uh, more distance that we can cover, and uh, this will be the squad we take out. So I know this was a bit of a longer episode. Uh, sorry about that. There might have been some parts where it's like, you know, why am I overwatching so much? But uh, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty important just to take your time in those scenarios. And I mean, if you're not recording on YouTube, then just who cares how long you take? I still I don't care. I my my focus is keeping my soldiers safe. They all came home. They're all in a real dangerous position because they're all super injured. But uh, it's going to be okay. I feel okay now that we got uh, Black Side out of the way. We're going to keep pushing and see what we can do. See you guys next time. Bye. The world you once knew is no more.